Yo, what's up guys, Theo here. In this video, we are going to work on uh, Node.js and Express.js uh, to do managing packet, manage packages with the NPM, the Node Package Manager. Um, so once you click into this, what you have to do is you have to go to Cloud9, this link right here, create an account. Uh, it does require you to enter a debit or credit card uh, just to have on file, but it's not gonna charge you. Uh, then just follow these instructions, which is what I did. Um, and then once you uh, once you get to step nine, then you know fall, uh, keep going with this video. So assuming you've got to step nine, we're gonna you know have our little workspace set up with Node.js and this README right here. Um, but you can I think you could. No, I guess you can't really get rid of that. Um, well, yeah, I guess you could. You can delete it. Um, so what we're gonna do is install this how to npm globally so that it can be used in this uh, IDE environment. So we're gonna, we're gonna hit enter on that and let that run and install that global. All right, so we got it. And assuming it works, we're gonna start the tutorial by running how to NPM. So let me clear out of there. And we'll just run how to NPM. All right, cool. And let's sort of maximize this a little bit, guys. And let me see if I can make it a little bit bigger. So um, it has all these tutorials in it, and uh, go back into here, so we can sort of see what they what they are right here. And uh, so the first one we're going to do is install npm. So I'm going to click here. It says you can read the instructions, and so what it wants us to do is make sure that uh, our npm version is up to date. So in order to do that, we're going to run how to npm verify. Okay. Uh, says your solution is not correct, so we need to upgrade. We'll say npm install npm g. All right, and that should install the latest version of uh, npm for us. So let's let this um, configure and run. All right, looks like it's installing, and now let's run how to npm verify again. Okay, let's see. Okay, cool. Got that one. Now let's go on to the next how to npm. We did that. Let's go to one. All right, setting up the dev environment. So let's make a new directory and cd into it. So make a directory called um, just dev. And we'll cd into dev. Okay. And uh, now we'll run how to npm verify. And awesome. So if you configured that correctly, then you should have it. Awesome. But we don't have anything in there. Uh, next up, let's clear this out and run how to npm. Let's see what the intermediate is. Let's get rid of that. No, I don't really need that. Um, so we've completed one, zero and one. Now let's go to login. So you need to create an account if you don't have one. If you don't know where to do this, this will be on npmjs.com. So go there, create an account, and come back when you when you have. So I'm going to run npm who am I? And uh, so. I'm not logged in here, I'm logged in locally. So let me do npm add user. Okay, I'm gonna add my username. I'm gonna type in my password. Um, and let me give it my email. Let's run this, cool, we're logged in. And now we're gonna run uh, npm who am I? And it should return Anderson TR15. And now we'll run how to npm verify. Verify that I am logged in, awesome. Let's go out again and do how to npm. So now we've completed 0, 1, and 2. Let's go to 3, starting a project. Okay. So now what we want to do is type in uh, npm init. Uh, well, I guess first we need to let's create. Oh no, I guess we don't need to create. So we'll do npm init scope equals, and I give it my username. All right. And this will start setting up our package, and we're just going to call it uh, Node.js Tutorials Version Description Entry Point. Okay, Git Repo Keywords Author Theodore uh, MIT for the license and yes. So now we'll say uh, how to npm verify. Awesome. Uh, and let's actually just view our package.json. So we can bin package.json. We can indeed uh, see that this is everything in here, but we're getting an error for the script. So I think that's the next one we're going to do. So let me escape out of there 
and uh, clear this and we'll run how to npm again we'll move down to four install a module i'm going to break this up into two parts guys so i think once i hit um seven or after i finish seven then we'll break it up into another video so install a module okay so let's try try one out so let's say npm install at lynn clark package and this will download it from the registry for the npmjs.com all right, so it says we have it now. Uh, so if we look at our node modules, it's indeed in there, uh, but it's actually not in our, it's not in our, uh, let me see if I can see my package.json. I think I need to, it's not in our package.json. Um, so, but I think that's good. So let's do how to npm verify. And congratulations. Let's run how to npm again. And we'll move on to five listing dependencies. Um, it also shows you what you have installed. So let's run npm ls. Okay, so we're getting an error uh, because this package isn't actually saved. So we got to type in how to npm verify not okay because there is a problem. Awesome. So it says indeed not all as well. Um, so we need to use the save flag next time. So let's run it again. We'll npm install Lynn Clark package dash dash save and this will save it to our package.json. So if we go back in here and refresh this, we now have under dependencies that key we have Lynn Clark package and the version number. Cool. Uh, so let me, let me clear this out now and we'll run how to npm or, sorry how to npm verify. Okay. Awesome. Um, Cool, so now if we run npm ls, we'll see what we have. We have the Lynn Clark package. So let's run how to npm again and move on. So now we're on six, npm test. Um, so what we actually have still in our scripts under our test script, which is uh, put there by default, we have this error because we don't have any, any tests yet. So let's edit our package.json to make your script section look like this, test. And it all, all we want it to do is run um, node, which will start up that server, or rather, it'll run, um, it'll run that JavaScript file, rather, and we'll give it the name, say index.js, we'll save that, and uh, now if we run how to npm verify, running your test script, your solution is not correct, let's see, um, node index.js, uh, do we not have an index.js? I don't think we have one, maybe. Yeah, so let me touch index.js and uh, let me just then into index.js and then just write out a simple hello, hello from index.js. All right, and uh, let me save that. And now let's, uh, let's run it again. How to npm verify, running your test script, hello from index.js, awesome. You wrote a uh, test that passes. Okay, so I think we're on to the last one for this video. We'll do how to npm. And we'll go down to package niceties seven. So we've created a package.json file that's missing a few things that people usually expect. If you type npm install, you'll see something like this. So you see the warm warns, but you also see that there's no readme. So let's create a readme file. So we'll touch um, readme.md, okay. Let's vim into readme and uh, let us, uh, let's just type in some gibberish. So hello from the readme and uh, let's save this. And uh, let's also edit our package.json to give it a, uh, we want to give it a uh, repository. And I think this is the right key, it might be wrong. We'll just say HTTPS github.com slash Anderson let's test repo and we put a comma there save that run how to npm verify let's see what that gives us now looking sharp uh, right so we got that and I think that's it guys for this tutorial uh, again then the next one will move on to 8 through 16 so hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you have any questions comments or concerns Please let me know and uh, 
Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Make sure to like, comment, and please subscribe and support the channel. It means a lot. So thanks, guys, and um, have a great day.